Not on our screen. There he is 14, which seems more likely because with one minute no increment, he would not be sitting there studying the position in great detail. Or he still would, but he would make, make moves. Mm. They play with no increment, no 30 seconds extra per move. Until move 61, yeah. That is, that is assuming greater and greater relevance in these in these two games, in the, in the Magnus game and also in, the, in particularly in Aron and Giri. Zero degrees is saying, thanks Peter. I thought I was alone thinking that opponents snatched up my ideas. <clears throat> I mean, I'm not suggesting any kind of... Uh, and, uh, I, I no, agree. I probably I, shouldn't. I, I liked, this I liked what, what Thrifty was saying there, that you know, I'm, I'm, my, my exorcism reading up is, is uh, me trying to find out uh, how to do this more efficiently. But uh, mm. I'm not saying you know, specific variations will somehow magically travel across, but you do, I think, give away, give away uh, you know, if you're unhappy, uh, you might actually give off an unhappy vibe. And that gives information to your opponent, definitely, because even knowing that your opponent sees something he's unhappy with is, in many cases, a very valuable bit of, bit of info. Why don't you do it like me? Just always give away an unhappy wife. Yeah, you've, uh, that's very GTO. Mm. Queen E6. Comes natural to me. Queen E6. We mentioned Queen E6 and then we kind of drifted away to other things. But Okay, let's do this again. Uh, rook E8. It's almost like you're both looking at the same position, says Nate Young. Magic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you think I make a mistake in bringing all of this on my head, you are sadly mistaken, Nate. It's all, it's all part of the master plan. King g7. Don't we have this? Queen c1. Yeah, but I think it, now that he's played queen e6, it's important to find out what's happening here. All right. Queen e1. Must go here. Yeah, but we don't want to trade queens. I'm pretty sure we don't want to trade queens here with black. We've looked at this and whatever, why it's slightly better or whatnot. So where do we go? Yeah, that's that's the big the big question. We don't want this. Well, you, you can still do this, King of Fate, maybe. It's not, not that horrible. Yeah, it is somewhat horrible. Takes, takes, rook c2, you might still survive miraculously, but you don't want to do this, yeah. Yeah, whatever. This does not f fit the script of not exchanging queens. Mm. Mm. So, where do we go? Where do we go now? And just to finish with the subject, someone in chat mentioned something which is relevant to yeah, this 98 kind of wins, but uh, queen 3 is unnecessary. Uh, Chess is a complete information game, but uh, in order to assess, the, you know, any kind of help you can get to assess the position correctly is very, very useful. It is a reasonably accepted fact, for instance, that any strong chess player who could, let's say, three times a game without seeing the first line, just ask what the machine evaluates the position as, would probably stand a very, very good chance of, uh, you know, drastically improving his shot at the World Championship title. Uh, What's the task? Just say who's better? Yeah, you, like three or five times per game you can ask the machine what... Ah, the, what you, yeah, you, you get the right to ask the machine what the evaluation is without mm. knowing the first line. Mm. That in many cases will be enough because if you know the solution exists, you will find the solution. Ooh, it would drive me nuts. Jeez. And, and uh, uh, knowing how your opponent feels about the position is... I mean, it's a le less of an exact science, but it still is an additional bit of information. I really do think I'm not talking complete complete bollocks here. I could be convinced otherwise, but mm. yeah, I'd still prefer the line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. no, you take you take the line over any of that, but uh, the line would get you disqualified. Whereas looking at your opponent's face is still allowed. <coughs> Who's happier and why? Well played, CP Curtis. Anyway, what's happening? I'm not really sure. Okay, King G7, I thought Rook C7 is strong, but I guess he just wants to go Rook F8. Or maybe he wants to take and go King H6. No, 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 no. I, I, I take that back. I think he wants to make his king completely safe and then the Rook 1 A8 will be free to wander towards A1. This might be a way to... <clears throat> 
play with no, you just lose. great fire. 95 wins. Oh, 95. Yeah. Well, that's amazing. We actually, rook f7 maybe saves the game, but yeah, you don't go queen, queen e3 there. Mm. So what do we do after king g7? I'm somewhat less happy with rook c7 now. Mm. <laughs> What's oh, your next move? Rook e8? Yeah. Probably rook e8 followed by knight e4, because rook a2 still doesn't really achieve very much because rook c2 will always be there. I was wondering if we can be you know, very brazen and just go d6. Rook e8, queen c4. But you really need, uh, you know, very, very steel enforced nerves. Queen d4 check. But after king h6, my problem is I would like to go d7, but I think rook takes d7 wins. Uh, which uh, means that we haven't really achieved very much. I mean, queen d4 is correct because we need to protect f2, mm -hmm. but after king h6, you need to look for a move like, I don't know, rook c5 or 1c5, yeah, exactly. But I mean, takes on c5, you'll have to take with the rook because you can't allow rook e1. And that, once again, kind of makes your whole idea a lot less a lot less powerful because you, you don't have those wonderful connected past pawns. Hmm. This is fairly double-edged now. The chat. Thrifty is saying, isn't the magical transfer ideas between people the plot of the mentalist? Yeah. Mm. People are having great fun at my, at my expense, which Mr. is why... Mr. Dochi rightly points out, it always comes back to the mentalist. I would suggest a new policy starting from here. Whoever mentions the mentalist gets blocked for, I don't know, life, life feels too long. No, no, no. no Ten life, minutes. No life bans for, for mentalist. No, that's true. But then again, no, it's too dangerous for Pramod. It's a, it's a minefield he would have to walk. Yeah. No, you keep, you keep coming back to the mentalist. Is it about people transferring ideas? I never understood what the point of this show was. I thought it was Simon Baker being handsome and mildly entertaining. Well, at some point, yeah, it, it, it becomes, uh, you yeah, know, the, the plot becomes very formulaic, and also the way they chose to deal with the main series arc was just so unsatisfying. The Sichuan sauce. Yeah, exactly. Mr. Dodge says, I once genuinely had an upon resign upon up because I looked so confident. Wow. Yeah, I would like to have uh, that kind of presence at the board. Mm, sounds very dodgy to me. Zitter, or Zitter, saying, my question to Peter Swidler. Why did Nakamura play a4 instead of f5? That's too far back. Zitter. Yeah, I actually considered it at the time, but I think, uh, I mean, it's a valid point, but I don't think we will, uh, objectively, before knight b3, we'll still be better for white. Although it's, it's definitely an option, because the knight that does get transferred over to d4. And ba4, knight takes a4 is a hugely improved version of the game, because knight will return to c5 and have a very good square. Rook c7 played by Magnus. I assume rook takes e7 and king h6 will get blitzed out, and then, yeah, it's very curious because <clears throat> the threats are very real now. Rook a1 would finish the game on the spot if it's allowed, for instance. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah rook takes e7 is already on the board. Rook c7, the king will go to h6. Yeah. Hikaru looks happy. Well, there's no reason, I think, for him to look unhappy because uh, I can't imagine this position being worse for, for Black. Queen e1 played, uh, played by Magnus. As mentioned, you, you do have to stop rook a1. But now you can... Well, actually, yeah, queen e1 is stronger than I thought because it also creates a threat of rook queen c1 taking the queens off. I thought it was 
only about damage control, but you actually create a, a valuable threat. What do you think? I'm wondering. Normally, Magnus does not have a poker face either, but openly shows if he's annoyed or happy or laid back, literally laid back. But in this game, he just seems focused. It's very hard to tell. Mm. Once again, some feedback in chat seems to suggest that Black is doing extremely well here, but I don't see why. Engine-wise? Yeah, engine-wise, people are saying... Maybe Rook, ah, Rook A2 followed by Rook E2, maybe. Mm. Rook A2 creates a very strong threat of Rook E2 here. Ah. And you can... You, you've just watched an illustration, I think, of what I was talking about. <laughs> when I didn't know the evaluation, I wasn't sure what I should be looking for, and I was sort of looking for ways to equalize with Black. Once you're being told Black should be playing for a win, you start looking for active moves, and the idea of Rook A2A2 kind of suggests itself then, but it didn't 10 seconds ago. Yeah, I'm going, I'm going all in on this idea. I'm, I'm not going to give up. Why is it such a big threat? Uh, rook E2, Queen C1, Rook F2. <clears throat> well, you probably will defend some unpleasant endgame, but you will have to defend some unpleasant endgame. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hard to argue because I get mated all the time. So but also, quickly. the Rook just comes back to D2, and uh, I mean, the D pawn is not going to go I understand. much I further. Mm, whatever. Mm -hmm. I think g1, rook d2, you don't even get it to g7, it kind of gets lost. Also, the king will come to g3 in two moves. This might be lost. <laughs> what I'm saying is, if we try it not to yeah. lose, then we get mated. So. Yeah. 94 is even better. 94 might be even stronger, yeah. No, I mean, might be a very, very strong idea here. Oh, not here. Or there. Let's briefly... Stick with it. I yes. believe Icaro is very confident. Here. He's making some faces, but he, he doesn't seem nervous. He's just calculating, enjoying his options. So now that he's shared his hand about his confidence, do you think he has tipped off Magnus about Rook A2, or does it only work the other way around? Like if you're unhappy, then your opponent picks up on it? I'm not sure. I've never really, you know, formulated and Rook A2 played. Yeah, rook e7 probably is... Uh, I'm looking at rook e7 as maybe the only way to stop it, but... That's what Jamsnacker says. Can seconds appearing in the audience signal things to the player? I wonder how widespread that is. That is not widespread because that would get you banned. That is the, the, the oldest form of, of cheating, and there are very funny stories about you know, such things happening in the, in the old. And there's a very uh, famous story in the Russian uh, circles about a tournament uh, being played in St. Petersburg in the Central Club in the, in the summer, and it gets hot in the summer in St. Petersburg, so open, windows are open. And uh, uh, the coach of one of the teams spotted a completely winning move on, on the women's board. Uh, but the huge time trouble, completely unsure if the move will be found or not. So, so he went outside, found a boy, <laughs> gave the boy some money to sort of run past the window, shouting, <laughs> shouting the move at the top of his lungs. And uh, it did win the game, and uh, it's very difficult to prove, but those things don't really happen anymore. How do we know? Did the coach admit it? Did the boy rat him out? That's... that's Possib Someone just make up that story? It's, it's, <laughs> I don't know, I'm not it's buying possibly, it. It's possibly apocryphal, but yeah, I mean, I, I know the story with names and everything, but it, it could very well be apocryphal, but it's a, it's a very famous story. Can't trust these boys on the street. Yes. The street urchins. Oh. I've heard Russian scientists are working on it. What aren't they working on? But I think they still uh, pale in comparison to what British scientists are studying. What are British scientists studying? Apparently everything, really? including some of the things no sane person would probably be studying ever in their lives. Like chess? No, no, no. I mean, uh, 
all kinds of really weird stuff. Rookie seven played. You do need to stop rookie two. I'm not surprised this this has been the move. And I'm struggling to find how to improve from here for black. Like rookie two was a very strong threat, but nothing else seems to be particularly decisive. And the hawk, Grandmaster Jonathan Hawkins, points out Magnus's clock goes down about a minute every sixty seconds. I don't yeah. know about that. I don't know about that. I think he's quoting some British scientists right there. Maybe he's a British scientist. That's also what I sort of implied, yeah. Uh, MVL and Caruano, uh, Caruano, I'm sorry about that. Yeah, they kind of exhausted the material on their board. Yeah, this is very, no longer rocket science. Yeah, very convincingly uh, traded everything off. So we have three more games running. Vlad is somewhat better against Wesley, but we'll get to that. That's the least exciting of the three, so we'll we'll get to that. I think by the end, uh, when the time control finishes. Sorry, Vlad. That's how big a tournament this is. The battle for the world number two spot. Yeah, we have more action than that in the Levon Romian and in the battle for Middle Earth on board number one. But seriously, how does Black go? From Knight g4 is a draw here, right? Don't ask me for a confirmation. Like, I'm trying to figure out where the square is. But yeah, it looks like a perpetual. Yeah, knight g4 is an immediate draw. So black, uh, you know, starts from a position of complete safety. If he wants if he wants immediate draw, he has immediate draw. Must be nice. Probably not more than that, because there is no way to swing the rook from a2 to g5 or somewhere. Yeah, all the, all mm. those... Uh, uh, Path are closed. <clears throat> okay, so having established that, you then continue, and that's also like it was passed on from generation to generation. I believe it's a quote from uh, Bolislavsky, who, when analyzing any German position, he would always tell his pupils or people put in his charge that first we find a draw and then we start looking for advantage. Now that we've I've heard that quote too. Never made a lot of sense to me, but I've lived my life according to it anyway. Yeah. Never found that advantage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I feel your pain, brother. Mm -hmm. Seriously, though, uh, there is a, a threat of Queen E3 here. Well, a threat as in it will make an immediate draw, so I mean. That's a threat in my book. Yeah. But maybe more importantly, if you, since we currently can't find anything for black that creates a threat, white will play d6 if uh, nothing if nothing is being done about it. Queen takes d5, queen e3 check is not something you particularly want to do, I think. Knight d5, rook e5 is just outright bad. <coughs> also here, maybe rook e2 makes a draw. Yeah, that's also an immediate draw. Draw. Yeah, okay, so actually bishop takes it to which I missed, but queen and bishop g4. Um, we're actually trying to lose this now. Let's let's stop before we embarrass ourselves even further. But uh, objectively, this has to be a draw with such a weak king on h1. Anyway, mm -hmm. but it's not a winning attempt. I'm, I'm looking for something for, for, for black which would be a winning attempt and not really finding it so far. And knight g4 played, so we think this probably will be a wrap. Uh, fairly soon. And yeah, Hikaru is uh, staring into space because he expects the yeah, HG played instantly by Magnus. Yeah, they will shake hands in a moment. <clears throat> yeah, we can, we can watch this full screen because we've already discussed this possibility. Neither side looks particularly unsure about the outcome of this game. Yeah. And Hikaru trying his best to look unhappy, but I'm not sure if if that's uh, you know correct in terms of the evaluation of, of this game. I... So you're saying deep down inside he's fine with the draw, but he wants to give the notion that Magnus was the side that escaped? Well, at some point it did look like black was the, uh, the the side pressing, but I think objectively, if we compare advantages that both players had over the course of the game, you probably find that Magnus uh, had a you know mathematically a better shot at a win 
I feel like that's how games should be decided. Like you look at the computer evaluation after every move and after 40 moves you just add them up and whoever has a plus score there wins the game. Uh, Sounds much more just to me than this check. Okay, let's go back to yeah this. Mm -hmm. yeah. Draw agreed. Now we've seen the handshake we can uh, switch to uh, Aronian, G Aronian Giri which is still very much in progress. Especially if we, if we get the, the board up, because... Very colorful, too. Yeah. All right, board. Not that board, though. Not the chessboard? 